What I'm going to show you today is how to use the sun as a compass. Now, most people know roughly where the sun rises, where it sets. What a lot of people don't know how to do is use that, that uh, known phenomena, rise in the east, set in the west, and use it to their advantage. So what I'm going to show you today is using something like a shadow. You can't see it, it's just off camera. There's actually a cactus there, which is cast a nice giant long shadow down here. So we could use something like this, fence posts, you could use a vehicle. It's entirely up to you what you use. One of the easiest methods that I like to use is just a couple of small sticks in the ground. And all we're going to do is well with the sun, where it is, we put a stick in the ground. That stick will then cast a shadow. We then got another smaller stick or a stone or, or mark the ground, whatever you want to do it right on the edge of that shadow, you mark it somehow. Then leave it 15, 20, 30 minutes. And as the sun moves around this way, the shadow will move around that way. And then what we do after that, that time period has passed, whether it's 15, 30 minutes, you leave it longer if you wish. You join those two lines up, you draw a line. That line from your first point is west, your second point is east. So that gives us a nice clean west to east line. This side of the west east line would be north. The other side would be south. Now that's it's not the most accurate way that you can do things, but if, without a compass, it's going to provide you enough accuracy to head off in, in a fairly safe direction. If you do this round about midday, which is when the sun's at its highest, it's going to be accurate to within plus minus six degrees, give or take, depending on how accurate you are and placing your, your markers. Or if it's two hours either side of the high point of the sun, it's plus minus about 12 degrees. So it gives you more than enough to head off in a safe direction. If you want to head south, it will send you off on pretty much south, give or take 12 degrees or six degrees. If you leave this overnight, you can actually do it with the moon as well, because the moon's cast a shadow. It's a very similar process, uh, but that's for another video. I'll show you how to do that. And that's how we do it, really simple. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to do it. And I'll now show you how I actually do it. So first thing we have to do is find a, a flat area, roughly where we need to be. So I'm going to use this area right underneath my feet. <clears throat> clear the ground so that you can see the shadows nice and clear. So obviously you've got things like leaves, and the like, you want to clear them out of the way. So there I have a nice clear area. Pick up a random stick, preferably one that's straight. Place it in the ground, as far down as I can. That's casting a nice clear long shadow. You can see where the edge of that shadow is. I then got my second stick as a marker. Stick that in there. It doesn't have to be a stick, I could use a small stone, it's entirely up to you what you want to use. Uh, but I'm using sticks because they're, they're easy to see on camera. So we'll leave that now for 15 minutes. Right, so the sun has now come round, we've got the shadow. Sitting roughly about there. So put another stick in. I remember what I said before this is west, this is east. We have a line which is running roughly this direction. So if we extend that out, we now have west, we now have east down here, we have south, and then we have north. Now, just to give you the warm, fuzzy feel that you've got this right, the stick that you've put in originally, so this one here, that will always be pointing to roughly south, give or take. I'll be in the southern side of this line because of the way the sun operates. The sun was always going to be towards the south or that axis as it moves around. So for navigation then, if I wanted to head, let's say, northeast, I've got west, east, I've got north, I've got south, so roughly this direction here is northeast. If you want to go south, then you're heading roughly this way. Okay. So as you can see, it's fairly simple. It takes a bit of time, but you can just sit down, chill out, have a drink, have something to eat, leave this running, 
I left this for about 28 minutes uh, and you can see the difference that you've had there so it's quite it's quite apparent the longer you leave this the bigger the line is the easier it is to work out so if you've got any other tips hints or any other way that you would navigate if you didn't have a compass then please let me know in the comments uh, send me an email if you wish uh, i would be really intrigued to hear it actually because this is one thing that that for me as a military survival instructor i'm very keen uh, to be able to teach my guys uh, if they do come down because they don't always get shot down with a compass and gps in the hand so having these kind of techniques is really powerful and helpful so anything you've got i'm all ears please do send it my way and please subscribe to this video and follow me on social media the more people that follow me the more comments that i get the more this encourages me to do more so please let me know and i'll catch you next time bye